Well, in keeping with the theme of uh, quirky obsolete tech stuff, I present to you this pocket calculator, the Casio FX9750G model. This is a 32 kilobyte memory scientific calculator and it was made uh, since 2001. Actually, I believed it to be much older. I got this thing from uh, a good friend of mine, Joanna, and she, well, she uh, jokingly suggested I feature it on a channel. Of course, I accept it since, you know, the quirkier the gadget, the better. And here it is. Now, I must confess, I don't know much about it, so this end of the year presentation review or video is more of a tongue-in-cheek uh, nature so please bear with me also notice i am filming with my gopro and not my usual gh4 setup so sorry if the close-up quality of the video is a bit lacking so in terms of construction this thing well it's not much to look at it creaks bends and uh, well really it's all over the place it's well it's sturdy enough there's no question about that but it's not pleasant to hold in hand the size is a bit large it's got 175 millimeters by 82 millimeters and it's 15 millimeters thick it's not extremely heavy and it features uh, an eight-line liquid cr crystal display, a classic LCD. It's got that nice sleeve on top, but unfortunately this one has seen better days, as you can probably uh, notice on the sides here, it's already bent, broken, and well, what do you expect? This is sort of a barn find equivalent in the gadget world. Now the back of the device uh, is, well, <laughs> it's looking, I don't know, it looks plasticky, <laughs> that's all I can say about it. I'm not familiar with these types of calculators. I will say though, it's fairly difficult to release this battery door cover, uh, even though I am pushing at the suggested position, it won't come out that easily excuse my clumsiness I will have to try to budget open it doesn't seem to want to do that there we go now then let's put in some batteries and see if this thing is good at something other than writing <laughs> childish obscene messages on the display <laughs> okay I'm joking so the liquid crystal display uh, is fairly uh, easy to read this thing has a 32 megabyte 32 kilobyte memory I apologize and was manufactured by the Casio Corporation beginning in 2001 this is a scientific calculator which was extremely popular uh, as it happens and it has some sort of program link facility which allows the user to transfer data and programs to other compatible Casio calculators or print screen data to a Casio label printer. Well, at any rate uh, I'm way out of the way out of my comfort zone with this one so let's just run through some specs and see if we can draw up some conclusions about this rather interesting but absolutely worthless piece of tech for the 99% of us so this calculator runs on four AAA batteries, the R6 model, and interestingly enough, if you remove just the one, either one, uh, this thing will stop functioning, as shown now, now here. Notice I'm not pushing anything, I'm just removing the battery and it went dead. So you need the whole four batteries to keep this thing functioning. 
though it will give you about 300 hours of continuous use out of four batteries. Uh, other interesting um, facts, apparently this example includes the following calculations. Prime factor analysis, greatest common measure, t-test value, circle and tangents, and rotating a figure. I don't know whatever. I don't know what either of that is, so just bear with me, please. So, yeah. The cost of such a gadget, such a contraption on eBay, I guess it's about 5 to 10 quid, 5 to 10 euros, 5 to 10 US dollars, whatever you can find uh, and pay for it. Is it an, a useful and necessary tool? Well, yes, for uh, the few of you that are, I don't know, math geniuses, math whiz kids, math scientists, whatever, this thing, I believe it to be a useful tool. For the rest of us uh, mere mortals, I don't think this is of any use. And furthermore, I wouldn't call it a collectible item either, since it doesn't really enthrall you. It doesn't present anything in terms of, uh, you know, user experience. It doesn't have any pizzazz, any uh, fancy uh, design features to it. It doesn't look quirky. It's just a plain old calculator with a bit of a rough construction at that. And I notice here on the back it's got a backup battery so it holds all your information in, uh, into a virtual storage. It doesn't get erased if you replace the batteries. But also this backup built-in battery has to be replaced from time to time and I'm sure this one is by now um, uh, obsolete. So this thing was made in Malaysia and uh, well I don't really have anything else to say about it other than it's quite interesting and quite nice to you know to check out to view is this a collectible item? Well, that's a rather strange question and I'll try to answer it briefly. You know, my grandfather's generation, well, they were raised and, uh, well, they spent most of their lives in communist Romania behind the Iron Curtain. To them, this is what the pocket PC and later on the smartphone became to my generation. So they tended to collect these things. Not this specific model since this was launched in 2001, naturally, but I have some older ones at my home as well. Some other Casio branded calculators, which apparently were all the rage in terms of tech, what little tech there was to be had in communist Romania. So there is some nostalgia factor. I don't know if you can get it, if you can sense it. Uh, to me, it's a bit uh, obvious, but maybe not to the rest of the world. Would I recommend you collecting stuff like this? Well, sure, if you're into them, but as I've stated before, these are not uh, premium feeling devices. They don't have m much uh, in terms of fit and finish. So it's not something very tangible with a pleasant interface or something that brings up nostalgia um, intrinsically or inherently. You had to have worked with these types of gadgets to really appreciate them. Yeah, that's a bit of a complicated conclusion to this rather quirky uh, device and this, well, mainly pointless video. And uh, I'll leave you at that. As always, thanks for watching and remember, I own, hoard, collect and sometimes borrow weird, obsolete tech stuff like this one, so you don't have to. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye.